All right, good evening ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for clicking on the video. On uh, the weekend, I had the pleasure of playing in yet another uh, Fightcade tournament. Um, I don't know why I keep signing up for these things. I know I'm not gonna win, <laughs> but uh, it's all about the fun, right? And I always like uh, testing myself regardless of the uh, the opponent. And uh, you know, it's always fun. It's always fun just to play these uh, play these battles. Um, against uh, against some of the pros in the uh, Mortal Kombat community. So I had the pleasure of playing uh, three sets. I actually uh, I actually didn't lose every match like I thought I would. And uh, I'm going to showcase some of those battles. Actually, I'm going to showcase all of my battles tonight. Um, I had uh, nine fights. Uh, the first set was against uh, I'd Eat Bell Sprout. So let's get into those battles first. And uh, I'll just uh, commentate a bit while uh, while watching these battles. So this is uh, here. Let's go to full screen. Shang Fun. Oops, that's not full screen. So there we go. So I chose uh, Sub Zero for the first match. Um, you can see ID Bellsprout is uh, rank C. Now I'm I'm rank C, but uh, I'm I'm definitely not a C rank player on here, and I say that because I got that ranking by playing somebody a uh, few times who, who wasn't very good, but but never gave up, and so because of that, it kind of boosted my ranking way up. So I don't think that uh, I don't feel like my ranking is deserved on it. Shang Fun. But to regardless, for this tournament, uh, I was going to keep using Sub-Zero. He's, he's actually a lower tier character in this, um, according, to, uh, according to some. Uh, but I really like using Sub-Zero, so I figured, you know what, he's got easy uh, air counters. Um, yeah, I just I enjoy using him. So you can see Shang there turned into a little sub. And uh, I'd eat Bell Sprout, won the first match. Knocks me into the acid pool, frozen. Excellent indeed. So when you hear excellent, that's me pushing the uh, the coin in button just to uh, give props to my opponent. Bell Sprout goes for Shang Fun again, and myself Sub Zero. So the first match, I was warming up, <laughs> getting into it. And uh, here we go. So it's a little more than nine battles, actually. The first set was five battles. It goes three to two. And then I'll, uh, I'll talk about the second set after. I'm not really sure what my uh, strategy here was. Just to, just to play and have fun and try to counter, try to block everything. <laughs> Um, you know, using Molina, I know he's going to be throwing size a lot. So a good slide under the size. Why not? Now there you can see, he jumps into me. Like I said, Sub-Zero has an easy uh, anti-air. It's just a roundhouse kick. Most of the uh, players in this game are pretty easy to uh, knock out of the air with that kick, as you can see. Now we're both playing a little more defensively here. Good time slide on my uh, on my part with finishing move into the spikes. Fun zero wins. And it's funny every time he'd push excellent, I would uh, kind of say thank you to myself. <laughs> Be like oh thank you, even though you know we weren't talking to each other, we were just playing. So there you have it, one all. Bell Sprout went with uh, Molina. I think I stuck with Sub-Zero for the entirety of this. I can't remember this uh, first set if I did or not. But uh, yeah, you can see Molina's a very quick character. Pretty sure the uh, the Mortal Jason... Um, I'm pretty sure his favorite character to use is Molina. He's absolutely insane with Molina. While I in, enjoy using Molina, uh, before this tournament I hadn't played much in the, uh, the week the week prior to it. 
I don't I don't even think I played to be honest uh, the week prior to it I was very busy so a character I love uh, picking up and playing with once again Sub-Zero perfectly timed ice there Melina jumps right into it with the jump kick very nice anti-air some people master uh, Molina's size because you hold punch, high punch for two seconds. The game's two seconds, and then you release. But there are some people who can just uh, spam size over and over and over again. That takes, uh, you know, takes good skill, good timing to, to pull that off. There we go. <clears throat> so I won two. I was pretty pleased with that. And then for some reason I figured, ah, you know what, let's mix it up a little. You know, he's got to win two more. I got to win one. Let's, let's play with, Kata with uh, Katana. Now watch what happens uh, when his uh, Shang Tsung against my Katana. Yeah, I, was feeling, I was feeling okay. I was, uh, you know, my nerves started uh, acting up here. I was excited. I was like, oh, am I going to win the first set? Because, like I said, I, I don't think I won anything from my last uh, my last fight cave tournament. So, uh, yeah, Bellsprout being very defensive. Which is great. Spamming some skulls. <laughs> Jump back, throw three. Another three. I'm trying to like inch my way towards them. I'm trying to not block the skulls, but just stand under or I crouch under them. And then there was my mistake. But he didn't capitalize on it. Pretty close. Shang Fun wins. Morphs the katana. Very cool. So that was fun. My nerves are going, so I'm like, you know what? I'm going back to Sub Zero here. Shang and Subs for the uh, third battle. Living Forest. I don't think I tried for a uh, Babality. <laughs> I might have at the beginning thought, uh, you know what? Let's see if we can do a Babality on him, feed the tree demons. But it didn't happen. Now he's starting to inch toward me with that uh, that jab and apply the pressure and uh, I just I started to uh, you know lose my composure I was having a tough time dealing with the uh, the jab pressure there and you can see he's coming coming towards me he wants to do that because he knows I'm having a hard time there you go so close Nicely timed counter in the air. I'm trying to surprise him with a slide. Getting close. Hoping on that uppercut. He wins with a little jab to the nuts. Toasty. Excellent. So that was the first set. Boom, it was over. Very good. So, after that uh, set that he won, I was knocked into the uh, the loser's bracket. Um, which, you know, I expected, but at least 3-2 to two was pretty good. It was pretty good. So, next up was uh, someone who goes by the name of Dead Holy Cow. Uh, I jumped into the, uh, the game with him. Here we go. There we go. So you don't see any ranking at the top. Dead Holy Cow versus Bushy Stallion. We both choose Sub Zero. I'm on player two side. Bit of a start. I remember there was a bit of a lag, a bit of latency going on here. I don't know if that shows in the replay or if that will show in the replay. But I've never, uh, I've never played this gentleman before. I've never even heard of him. But, uh, you know, his Sub-Zero off the hop here, applying the pressure, very good. 
he takes the first round. So you hear the excellent. That is me uh, letting him know that that first match was excellent. Show my respect. Start to play a little more uh, defensively here. And uh, not gonna lie, I was nervous. I was excited and nervous at the same time. And then there you go. Started to uh, puke out a bit, so we're kind of sitting there like, what the heck's going on? And I guess the, uh, the game there for the replay did, in fact, freeze. So that was the end of that one. That actually went to uh, round three, and um, the game glitched like that right at the end of round three, to be honest. Uh, I don't know why it didn't show that, but um, but that's what happened for that. So then we uh, took a moment, jumped back in, and uh, here is our actual set now. Full screen. Once again, he's on player one side. I'm on player two side. Uh, I'm not sure what the uh, the rules are for fight. Uh, for uh, when the game crashes like that. But uh, fortunately for the rest of the uh, tournament, it didn't happen again. So here we go. And I can't remember if we used Sub-Zero the entire time. But uh, I was a little sharper on these battles. So off the hop, first round. Goes to yours truly, BS, Bushy Stallion. Double freezes. Big mistake on his part, but uh, I know he didn't mean to do that, obviously. A lot of double freezing going on. Boom, he jumped right into it. I remember uh, clapping to myself there. Like, yes, in the first round again. Excellent. So there's one win for Bushy Stallion. A bit of respect again. Excellent, excellent. I can't remember if we went... Okay, so we didn't. So I'm Sub-Zero. I, I use Sub-Zero for the duration of the tournament. Applying the pressure with the, uh, the teleport. The jump kick. Sweep. A lot of teleporting. Hat throwing. Boom. Wins. Still managed to freeze him. <laughs> Alright, so Kung Lao, round one. Teleport to the jump kick. Now I noticed if you avoid that jump kick and go right into the sweep, I believe it's a little quicker. And a lot of time I just assume that when they teleport they're gonna uh, they're gonna kick at the, the peak of it. There we go. Sometimes I'll do a roundhouse kick to get more uh, more more distance. Kind of gives me a, a, a millisecond of time to uh, regain my composure. <laughs> Got to get that last hit in there. Kung Lao's being um, being aggressive, though. I, I like a holy cow's uh, style of play. He's aggressive, and I like that. There's no uh, no winning by uh, the timer running out or anything like that. It's it's aggression, and, and I and I enjoy it so. Round one, you can see fight. he goes back to sub zero. I'm assuming that's his character of choice. He, he hit me with the anti air there, hit me out of the air. So he's good. So that's when I realized okay, I can't jump at him as much. And you'll see me when I do jump at him. Usually, because I assume he's going to throw the ice, but you'll notice I'm just kind of pacing back and forth now because I know his uh, anti airs are really good. And Sub Zero again is an easier 
character to do it with. The three ninjas are pretty easy for that roundhouse kick. Whereas, like, Katana and Molina have great, uh, great uppercuts that knock you out of the air pretty easily. Here I am applying the pressure on this one. Game over. So, there you have it. Three in a row against Dead Holy Cow. And I gotta be honest, I was very, very shocked with myself. Because I did not know what to expect. So I was very happy about that. So then my next battle, and my last battle, is against Kuberman83. Excellent. Now you can see the rankings again. The uh, C ranking that I have is deceiving. Um, like I said, I, I got it. I got it by playing uh, one guy who just wouldn't quit. He was, uh, I mean, it's a lot of fun when you're winning, right? So I just kept playing and he kept playing and I think it shot my rank right up. So anyways, as you can see, Kuberman, Kung Lao, kicks my butt in the first round. With Kuberman, I was just, uh, I was just outplayed. Plain and simple. Uh, his timing was better, his pressure was better. His defense was great. I don't think he uh, fails on any moves. That whole jump punch to the, uh, what is it called, the teleport kick, or the downward kick. Uh, he's very good at that. So he stuck with Kung Lao. I was like, all right, I'm going to stick with Sub-Zero. This tournament, we were allowed to use whoever we wanted for every match. There was no... Uh, uh, it didn't, didn't matter, tiers and such. You could play whoever you wanted. Um, you know, playing against uh, pros, I probably should have used a character like, uh, you know, like Liu Kang or something. But like I said, I was, I was in a Sub-Zero mood, and I wanted to uh, use Sub-Zero for the duration of it. And so I did. Now that move there... Did you hear me? <laughs> when he jumped on the uh, puddle and then jumped back. I don't know how he did that. I don't know. Uh, I didn't know you could do that. So right away I pushed uh, coin up. So he jumped on the puddle and I said, excellent, right away. Because I was like, I don't know how the heck you did it, but I respect it. <laughs> Gave him props with an excellent round two. The Cooperman I've played before, I think I may have beat him before, like in a match here and there. But I, uh, I honestly can't remember. The Cooperman was very humble after, though. He said, uh, I think basically said that, I don't know, some, some along the lines of, uh, you know, he, he got lucky against me, but... Sometimes the uh, the really good players will say that just to be nice. <laughs> As he uh, he made quick work of me from those two first two matches, that's for sure. Round one fight. And so uh, as you can already see, this is going to be the last battle of the evening for me. So I was really playing carefully here, trying to anyways, trying to block a little more, keep my distance, but uh, his come out is very fast. He uh, makes good use of the entire, <laughs> the entire screen. And uh, he just outclassed me, outclassed me in this, in the three matches, but it was still fun. A lot of respect. Let's we'll see what happens here. <laughs> combos my blocking is terrible and he actually does finish with the uh, flawless victory so that was it that knocked me out of the tournament and uh, that was my fight cave experience for uh, I believe it was August 2nd Saturday evening August 2nd so anyways there you have it thank you very much for watching everyone I do appreciate it